what's going on YouTube. My name is Chris. Welcome back to my channel, Crispy Fades. This week, I have an easy haircut for you. It's another basic. Um, it's a client who has braids on the top, and we're just gonna do a light taper on the sides, skin taper out in the back, and a nice thin goatee and mustache. We're gonna shave the cheeks and pointy sideburns. Let me talk to you guys about back to school that just happened last weekend. Friday, we did over 200 haircuts as a shop. Saturday, we did over 200 haircuts, and Sunday, we did over 150 haircuts. We're closed early on Sunday, so by four o'clock, we had done so many haircuts. We're exhausted. During the time, I broke my fast feeds, my Oster fast feeds. I broke a blade, and the lever is wonky, so when I open and close it, the, the thing doesn't move. So I have to get a new pair of, uh, of fast feeds anyways. I misplaced a pair of shears, so I gotta get some new shears, and y'all know how expensive shears can be. Um, it was just a wild weekend, but when we're back to normal now, school started, um, The the we're just getting normal again. You can hear in the background, we got things going on in the house. So everyone's, you know, school just started, she just got back from school, so everyone's excited, but uh, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, and hit that alert bell, so you guys know when I release new videos. Um, give it a thumbs up and I'll be back next week for another video for you guys. Without further ado, let's get it started. So we're going to start this off like every other cut. We're going to bring our base length down to a two. Since it's going to be a light taper, we're only going to go from about a one and a half or a one to a two. So we're going to bring it down to a two all the way around. All right, now that we got that all down, we're gonna throw on the one guard under our clippers, open up the lever and go ahead and bring the bottom of the hair down to one and a half. And um, that's where the start of the blowout is gonna be. We're not gonna go any lower than that. So to blend this line that we just created out, I'm just gonna throw on the one and a half guard, open up the lever and just kind of flick the line and close the lever as we go to just lighten that up. So we're just gonna clean off our fast feeds here real quick. These are the same fast feeds that I broke, <laughs> but um, we're just gonna throw the one guard on, open up the lever all the way, and then just hit some shadows that we see. The fast feeds are a little bit longer than my magic lips, so when I open up the guard, this is closer to a two than it is to a one and a half. So this is what I use to blend out those shadows up at the, uh, at the crown. And in the front, where the hairs are long on his um, front lineup, I'm just gonna bring those down to the, with the fast feeds, one guard open lever, to just blend it in with the, with the taper on the side, and then just lighten up the crown area, where there's still a little bit of bulk where his braids start, just use this guard to lighten that up as well. All right, so right here is where we start the edge up. The client just wants pointy sideburns, so we're just gonna go ahead and start the pointy sideburns, and then after the fact, we'll go ahead and um, clean up the cheeks. As well, we're gonna um, do a full skin taper in the back, so we'll get that afterwards as well.
I do all of my um, back tapers the same way. I kind of make my guideline in a um, an arc shape because I like the side lines in the back to come down far on the neck. And for the skin taper to be higher up in the middle, it, it makes it look a little better to me. I have a bunch of clippers. I have about eight clippers, but you'll see in every video, mostly every video so far, I'm using the same clippers because these are the ones that work with me. I have them adjusted the right way where I can only, I, I only have four main clippers that I use because I can get every haircut type done with those clippers the way they're adjusted. But you will see different clippers and new clippers as, um, as this progresses. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up his whole edge up now with the razor. I don't really need to put any kind of lather on his skin because he has pretty smooth skin as it is. But once we get to the beard and start edging up the beard, I will have to go ahead and put on some shaving lather for that part. So now we're making our way to the beard. First thing we're gonna do is bring the beard down to a one and a half. Once we get the beard down even, dark but low we're going to take our outliners and just go ahead and edge up the beard he likes all the lines to be thin except for the chin part but all the lines nice and straight and everything boxed out All right, now we're gonna finish up this goatee with a razor shave. The hairs are a little thicker on his beard, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw, uh, throw on some shaving gel. This shaving gel, I think, is just a mixture of a couple different ones I had left over. And I just threw it in a little bottle, but um, it works. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it all over and just give him a nice clean shave. This area in particular, you have to be extra careful because the hairs by the mustache are a lot thicker than the hairs everywhere else. So have the client bite his top lip to really stretch out the skin and then go ahead and just carefully just shave above the lip. So 
So the client can't take a razor underneath the chin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my outliners and shave all that hair off and then use my um, foil shavers to, to shave it down to skin. And afterwards, make sure you sanitize the area with alcohol so you can avoid any razor bumps or anything like that. And that's it for the cut. You just go ahead and turn the client around, show them the final product. Make sure you don't forget to shave those hairs that were underneath the cape hiding away. That's it though for this week's video. If you guys like what you saw, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified every week. I don't like putting straight alcohol on someone's face after I shave it. It burns super bad. So instead I like to use an aftershave lotion. 